Good morning, friends. I'm super duper excited for today. There is a community garage sale and there are a ton of houses participating. So let's go see what we can find this morning. How much is this? Thank you. Yeah, that's about thirty five too much for me. $40 for a uh, sterling silver bracelet at a garage sale. That's just probably not gonna happen. Uh, you know, it's, it's not real gold, it's silver. So um, yeah, and I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not gonna pay those prices and I'm certainly not cheap, uh, but I am thrifty. There is, a difference there is a difference between being cheap and thrifty. Here's a pair of Doc Martin shoes. I definitely picked these up. I already have these listed, so you're not gonna be able to see them in my haul video because I've already taken them to my storage unit. Um, but yeah, they were only a dollar, so I definitely uh, picked those up. And I also found another pair as well, uh, this pair right here. So two pair of Doc Martens for two bucks. Come on, you can't beat that. What a How steal, right? Shoes? Wait, oh my gosh, she said 50 okay. cents a piece, y'all. So I got two pair of Doc Martin shoes for one dollar. <clears throat> oh my goodness what do we have here i love the print look at this fabric y'all oh it's so groovy i love it So I probably didn't look as long as I should have at everything here. I was in full panic mode. This was only the second sale of the community garage sale and I was in a hurry to get onto the others. Yeah, so it's like a uh, platter party, right? <laughs> I'm going to say $7 because it's, it's, it's a 
I didn't know where you went. I thought you went inside. <laughs> Two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. Did I say? Fifty cents. Okay. okay. Two dollars, three dollars. Okay. Heck yeah! These are awesome garage sale prices. Okay, I'll take them. Thank you. Good morning. So this lady just wasn't talking to me at all. So I know that some of you are going to say, oh, it's because you're a camera and maybe you're right. I don't know. But if you want to sell stuff at a garage sale, you probably should greet people and say hello. Nope, nothing at this sale. On to the next one. Is your little fish bowl? Oh, two dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Is there a place I could start a pile? Oh, yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, right there. I'm okay. sorry. Sure. On the floor, be good. Thank you, ma'am. Come on, y'all know I gotta get my pile on. I should have kept that while I went to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the rest of it like 50 cents. Okay. Oh, that's hers. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, she just put it right there. Did y'all hear what I just heard? That guy was trying to get that fishbowl out of my pile. <laughs> How much is the jewelry? Already? Yeah, the neighborhood over, they're having oh. a community one. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'm sure you'll be getting a lot of traffic from that, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat>
Of course, y'all know me. I got to go back and uh, make sure that I didn't overlook anything. So give it one more look-see. Darn, watching this video back, I wish so much that I would have bought that little frog canister over there. And that cute looking little butler guy cup thingy. Wonder why I wasn't so interested in that right. before. I'm ready. What did I say for this? Two. Two. <laughs> you need a bag for this. I'll just put them in the same bag as that. Two. So one. And three dollars. Okay. Okay. Have you been busy already this morning? I think you y'all like the fourth one. You know that came. Right. Just if, if, if not, everything goes to the goodwill or something. Oh yeah. How much are your boots? Those are already so they're 20. Thanks. Or 15. You're, you're you picked you picked them right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if I made a mistake by not picking up these video games. Video games are not my thing. It's kind of like you guys going and shopping for uh, jewelry whenever you normally wouldn't do that. So that's how I feel about video games and tools and stuff like that. It's just not something I usually pick up. Good morning. Good, how are you? Is your base? Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, it is. I love the color. Yeah, I love that little vase. I'm going to probably put that in my antique booth for about $8. So here in a second, the video gets cut short because this lovely gentleman decided to walk up to the garage sale and his phone was ringing playing a song and he just decided to shop and let his phone ring. So I didn't want to get copyright infringement, so I had to cut the video short. 
Okay, so after I paid and I gave the lady a dollar for that blue vase, I, um, because the guy was waiting to check out, the one that his phone was ringing playing that song, and I reminded him, I was like, hey, your phone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> because like I don't even know if he knew or not he was just standing there talking and gib gabbing with that song playing you know the the song playing was his ringtone or whatever and um yeah <laughs> like hello I'm trying to make a YouTube video here buddy okay you're messing things up for me <laughs> no I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> but for real good morning How are y'all? Good, Good, thank you. How much are your shoes? Bless her heart. She didn't know how much the shoes were and her sister was over there shopping the other cell. And I wasn't gonna sit around and wait for her sister to come back because she sure as heck wasn't calling her. So, little tip here, if you wanna make some money at a garage sale, you gotta be there, people. Okay, so it might seem like I'm being crabby today, but really, you guys, I'm just trying to have fun with y'all. Fun with y'all and my channel, too. I take none of this seriously. Garage selling is something I do as a hobby and for fun. I'm a part-time seller. So, um, please don't get on my case about being grouchy. <laughs> I'm just joking and having fun. Okay, here is a real quick haul for you guys. So I got these awesome two vintage Christmas uh, plush by Fisher Price. And I believe they're called the Puff Puffalump. Somebody correct me if I'm mistaken. But yeah, I thought these would sell really well. I haven't done a ton of research yet. Uh, but yeah, they're a really good price, so you can't beat that. They are a little uh, worn here. There's a little dirt to them. So um, I will just have to disclose that whenever I list them. These will probably definitely be something that goes on eBay for sure. Um, let's see. So I got this really cool little fish bowl with this neat little fish stand. I used to have one just like this one, you guys. Uh, but... And you can't find them anymore. At least I haven't seen them in forever. But the bowl was just so small that um, I thought that was kind of mean to leave my little betta fish in there back in the day. So I didn't end up keeping it for too long. But I just love this. I wish I'm, you know, if you guys can think of a way I could repurpose it besides using it as a fish aquarium, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I could just um, put some jewelry in it or maybe some candy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, would be a good repurpose for it. Uh, if I can't think of anything, uh, and it does take up a lot of space, I'll probably just put it in my antique booth, probably for about $20, $25. And I also got some jewelry, but I've already taken that jewelry out to my antique booth. Uh, it was nothing, you know, too spectacular. But I did get these combs there as well. Now, I haven't tested these for Bakelite just yet, but I just thought they were beautiful. So I went ahead and picked them up, and they did cost hardly anything. Um, let's see. So you guys saw that I got two pair of the Doc Martens. I already have one pair listed and I'll try and insert a picture so you guys can see up close what they look like. This pair I haven't listed yet and I got these for 50 cents a pair. I haven't listed this pair yet just because they were crushed down so much that I had to use my little inserts here to kind of prop them up. And they've been sitting here a couple days now so I think they might be reshaped now good that I can take some pictures and get those listed up on uh, probably Poshmark and Macari. And then of course I got this little blue vase here. I'm going to take that to my booth. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this outfit. So I didn't uh, get it listed in time for Halloween, but nonetheless, I think it's really awesome. So it came with this really long skirt. I've already washed everything, so it smells nice now. But look at this print, this fabric. I just love it. It's super long, and it has a stretchy waistband. And it's definitely um, hand-sewn. I think that somebody handmade it because I couldn't find any tags in it anywhere. And it ha I mean, like, I feel like it's really true vintage 60s. So if you guys know anything else about it, please let me know. 
Um, always look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And then it came with this neat little bonnet. How cute is this little bonnet hat, y'all? I just love it. So I don't even know if it was meant to be a costume. Like, I'm so excited I can't even hardly breathe. Um, I don't even know if it was meant to be a costume. I think maybe somebody might have actually worn it in the 60s, like, as their outfit. So let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.